Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I will be discussing Mistress of Snarling Death by Paul Chadwick. Now, this is not the same Paul Chadwick known for the concrete comic book series at Dark Horse. This Paul Chadwick is a pulp author that lived from 1902 to 1972. Mistress of Snarling Death appeared in the July 1936 issue of Ace Mystery Magazine. It wasn't the cover story that month, but it was mentioned on the cover. Now, it appears that rather than a mystery magazine, Ace Mystery was a weird terror slash menace pulp. Mistress of Snarling Death definitely falls into the weird menace genre. The main character of the story is Stephen Demarest. He is called to the New England countryside when he receives a letter from a friend of his father, Benjamin Halliday. Demarest hasn't seen Halliday in years, but when he receives a letter from Halliday asking him to come to his house under the guise of a radio repairman to help him out of some trouble, he decides to go. Demarest's car gets caught in the mud on the way there, and he is forced to cut across the countryside on foot. On the way to Halliday's house, he encounters a beautiful, and mysterious young woman, surrounded by a pack of large black dogs. The young woman treats him with indifference and walks away from him. When Demarus arrives at Halliday's house, he is greeted by a trio of disfigured servants. An average-sized, one-eyed mute and two dwarves that look simian in appearance. He also sees that Halliday's attending physician has features that make him resemble an evil parrot. Demarest is unsure of what he has gotten himself into. If you are curious to see what is going on, definitely check this story out. Mistress of Snarling Death is available to read for free on the Pulp Gen website via a nice PDF scan. It's nine pages long, and it's very well written. As a matter of fact, it's one of the best pulp short stories I've read lately, and it really makes me want to read some more of Paul Chadwick's work. Looking at the information on the Fiction Mag Index, and ISFDB, Paul Chadwick's written under quite a few pen names. He wrote a lot of detective, crime, westerns, as well as some sports and hero pulps. One title that jumps out at me is the only issue of Captain Hazard, The Python Men of the Lost City. He wrote this under the pen name Chester Hawks. He also wrote some secret X He also wrote some secret agent X tales under the house name of Brant House. Other pen names of his include Jack Barton, John Callahan, Wade Hammond, Harris Clivacy, and Terry Dennis. I'll link to his profile on both databases in the show notes. I'm not sure who is responsible for the great interior artwork of this story, but after consulting David Saunders' Pulp Artist website, I am thinking it's James Milton Wilcox, or J.M. Wilcox for short. According to the site, he illustrated other magazines published by Periodical House. The signature is also pretty close. I'll include links in the show notes to where you can download Mistress of Snarling Death in PDF format, as well as links to the various websites I have mentioned. 
that contain information on Paul Chadwick and J.M. Wilcox. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at Pulp Crazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash pulpcast. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.